Edward is started. Edward? Yes, please. Please could you mm. explain to Paul, Paul and Chrissy how yes. you make bricks in Uganda for our pop-up projects and explain to them just who you are. Okay, how are you Paul, Paul and Chrissy? This is Rotengo United Secondary School. I'm Edward Kawesi, uh, the head teacher of this school. And where we are now is where we make our bricks, just on the compound. We use our local materials. These bricks are made out of soil. And what we do is we get the soil, that is we dig the soil, use water, and then we mix them up until we get into a, a, a stiff mud, a sticky mud. And then when we get our, we get a, a rack, which is made to the sizes, the specifications we want. So we make those bricks. We dry them. When they are dry, we then pile them into a, chim a, a kiln, uh, which we are use get fire, we get to wood, which we burn under it, and then eventually, when they are burnt, they yeah. become red. Like you see those up there? Yeah. So when they have been burnt, then it means they are ready for use. So we use those ones to build the buildings that we use at school here. We have been doing this work with the community and our students in order to be able to build because we don't have a lot of resources and we want to use labor which is as cheap as possible. So that's how we do it here. So uh, how long does it take from digging? Uh, from digging, of after you have dug it, uh, that is after you have mixed it with water, it requires at least uh, three, four days, ah. and then there after four days, then you you make the, you shape the bricks. How do you shape them? You use a rack, which has been uh, unfortunately I don't have it here, which has been made right. a wooden one. So you put there the mud, and then that mud comes. You you let it come out, because if it is sticky, so it holds together. So it comes out in a wholesome. Then what happens is. You cover on it, it on top with some small grass, so that it dries naturally. If there is too much heat drying it, it cracks. Ah, okay. So you give it a slow drying period, which normally takes about a week or two. Uh -huh. Then thereafter, once they have dried, you pile them somewhere and you wait. When you have enough of them already made, we pile them in this way as we wait for more. So if we can get a bit more of these, then we shall be able to burn these ones. And once they have been burnt, they are ready for use. So it doesn't matter if it rains? Yeah. Well, before, it, before they are burnt, it matters. Because you need to cover them on top. So, do you, so you have to come down and cover them all the time? Yes, we have to come and cover them all the time. With grass, or we have a tarpaulin. Ah, when okay. you have a tarpaulin, you cover them on the top. But once they have been burnt, no problem. Those will stay there for as long as we don't want to use them. So you'll just keep building your stock until you decide to build a new building? Yes. Okay. Yes. And do you teach the, do, do you teach the boys <coughs> how to make bricks? Is it part of what Not they learn? Not only the boys, including the girls. And the girls. Yeah, they all come here. At least they can mix the mud with their feet. Everybody does that. They collect the water. So we do it collectively. Collectively? Yes. Ah, oh, brilliant. Yes. And then they and learn And that makes skills. them also own their play, their, their, what? the institution, the construction oh. and the work. So they know whatever they are doing is for their own good. So we agree, we know we are doing this because this is what we shall do next. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's brilliant. I hope yeah. you got that, Paul, Paul and Chrissy. Yeah. Thank you. See you soon.